Good morning, I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. Stocks increased on Wednesday due to a change in focus from the quarter point interest rate hike by the Federal Reserve to comments from Fed Chairman Jerome Powell acknowledging the decrease in inflation. The Fed did not hint, however, at a pause in future hikes and maintained their stance of continuing to raise rates. There have been recent signs of a decrease in inflation and the Fed acknowledged this in their statement. But Powell added that the Fed will need to be restrictive for some time and has more work to do. The S&P 500 gained 1%, the Nasdaq Composite added 2%, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average remained unchanged. Stock benchmarks were also boosted by strong fourth quarter corporate earnings, with companies like Peloton and Advanced Micro Devices reporting positive results. Peloton's shares surged more than 25% after the fitness equipment company said its net loss narrowed year over year. And Advanced Micro Devices shares gained more than 13% after the semiconductor company reported a fourth quarter earnings beat. In after hours news, Facebook parent Meta has just announced a $40 billion stock buyback as the company topped earnings estimates, sending their shares 14% higher in aftermarket trading. And Adani Enterprises has caused off its $2.4 billion equity fundraising in the latest blow to Indian billionaire Gautam Adani, who has seen his shares in his industrial empire tumble after a short seller made allegations of fraud and stock manipulation. The decision to pull the share sale and refund investors marks an abrupt turn after the Adani Enterprises share shares fell 27% on Wednesday, taking them well below the deal price range. All S&P 500 sectors except for energy finished higher overnight, with technology leading the pack up 2.3%. The best performing thematics included AI, live streaming and Tesla related companies. And in commodity news, gold hit a session high not seen since April. The metal traded as high as $1957 during Wednesday trading. That's the highest it has traded since April of 2022. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.3% gain. Thank you for listening.